in this video, we're going to turn these parametric equations into um, into an algebraic one in, involving x and y only. Uh, if uh, if you at the moment it's hard to understand what's going on here, um, but if you can translate this into something in the form of let's just imagine this to be like this, then then you immediately know what the graph will look like. At the moment, it is very hard to tell. So so our aim here is to try and turn this into an algebraic equation involving just uh, in, involving just y and x okay so so but by the way this happens to look like this and then if, if um, it's always when given this it's always nice to know the starting point so put zero into here and put zero into here so uh, so cos of zero would be one so uh, one times four would be four so so when time equals one x will be four when time equals uh, sorry when time equals zero um, x will be four when time equals zero uh, y will be sine of zero will be zero times three that will be zero. So when time equals zero, the the coordinates will be four comma zero, four comma zero is right here. So this is your starting starting point. So uh, so when when given this, it's nice to know the starting point. And maybe you you might want to know the direction as well. Uh, the direction. If you want to know the direction, let's let's try and select um, pi over two. So put this. Into uh, into here. This would be zero, uh, uh, and then this would be one. So um, so at at time at time at time pi over two, then uh, then then x will be will be zero. X will be zero, and y will be y will be three. So it'd be here. So so now you know the, the direction as well. But let's let's imagine you, you didn't know that. So let's let's pretend you didn't know this. So now our aim here is to turn this into an algebraic equation involving just x and y. Okay, so so remember this. Uh, so so, how, so starting from here, what you do is you, you divide both sides by you divide both sides by, by four. So that will then give you this. Uh, that will then give you this, and then you square both sides. Then that will then give you this. Uh, cos squared and t. Uh, that 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 will then give you this. So remember this. You should you should know this by now. Um, this has to be ingrained in your mind. You must know this. So uh, so starting with this. Hang on. Starting from here. Divide both sides by four. That will then give you this. And then, uh, and then for the y, divide both sides by three. Then that will then give you this. So now, uh, now if you if you square both sides, that will then give you this. Square this, that will then give you this. Now look at this, cos squared, cos squared. So we can put this into here, and we can put this into here. That will then give us this. And then now, hopefully, you you should be able to recognize what what this will look like. But let's let's pretend you. You, you, um, you let's pretend you didn't know. So let's let's just work from scratch. So an air, um, an equation for circles given by uh, it would be in this form here, where this is the radius. So so an equation of circle is x squared plus y squared plus r squared. Um, if you um, if you so so this is an equation of a circle. If you do this transformation uh, minus let's say hang on. Uh, if you if you do this transformation uh, plus two squared and then plus of uh, y minus three squared equals radius squared. If you starting from here, if you apply this transformation, it will then give you this. It will then give you this. Uh, it basically moves this. But uh, if if starting from this, x plus y squared equals two squared. If you apply this transformation, what it's doing is that it's actually moving, it's actually moving across by by two, and then it's moving up by three. So 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 from here, if you apply this transformation, it will actually do this. It moves the circle in this direction by by two, and then up by three. So uh, and then now, if you if you remember this, hang on, if you have um, x squared, if if f of x equals x squared, if you apply this transformation, it gets squeezed, everything gets squeezed inwards by a factor of 2. But then if, if this number is less than 1, let's say if, the, if this number is, let's say, a half, then, then, then you're going to stretch this outwards by, um, by, by a factor of 
uh, of two. Uh, so so half it will, it will stretch it will stretch outwards. Two it will squeeze it inwards. Now look look back to the uh, equation here. So uh, look, look look at this equation here. Well, you're you're actually so so normally you've got x squared plus y squared equals one, where the, where this is a radius of one. Well, if you apply this transformation, then then it's going to stretch it by a factor of four, um, because it's it's like you doing this. Uh, it's like you doing this. So it's it's going to stretch it out by a factor of of four. And then uh, and then looking at the y here, it's going to stretch it outwards by a factor of three. So so when when you when you get to this stage here, you should realize that um, that this is an ellipse. Um, it, it's being it's being stretched in the x direction. Uh, by uh, by a factor of four, and then it's being stretched by in the y direction by a factor of three. So next time when you see this, you know it's um, it's going to be an ellipse. Um, yeah. So yeah. Okay.